all right guys Hasib here and hope you all are doing well and in this video i'm going to talk about the brand new form builder by go high level so go high level has launched a new form builder a few days ago they made really good changes i would say uh, design wise and in the back end also so i'm going to talk about everything that's new in the form builder i'm going to tell you how you can make it better how you can integrate it with your sites and uh, what are the background stuff you can do in terms of automations and stuff so let's go to the form builder by going to sites from a sub account i'm in a sub account right now and let's go to forms builder and let's actually see uh, what's new in this form builder by creating a form so i'll just uh, start from scratch i'm not gonna do one from templates but you already can see they added templates for forms, which was uh, not the case uh, previously. So let me actually create a new form by naming it contact us. Uh, the use case could be imagined as uh, we are going to add this form to our website's contact page, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding new fields from here. So I'm definitely going to have full name. I'm definitely going to have email address, also phone number. So these three are the most important fields and must have. So uh, as extra fields, I could say uh, I could add a custom value. As you can see, there's a lot of custom values here. And let me just add this one. So this is, I think, a multi-level, a multi-line uh, text field. So what service do you need? So full name, email address, phone number, what service do you need? If you want to make it required for full name, you can do it totally. And let me actually add a button so the button will say submit right and i'm going to change the button text from here and as you can already see you can also add subtext so if you want to add a get a free cons something like that so i'm not going to do any any buttons for now but i'm um i'm i'm going to change the background color of it you know so background color has been changed if you want the button to be full width you can totally do that but it was previously uh added but it, it's not a new feature i would say what you can do is you can give it a bit padding so it looks a bit better now and now about the designs right so if you click on this one on the right uh top it'll show you a few things like uh, you can however add different kind of themes so this will obviously come in handy if you are using this form builder on its own independently right so you create a form you have its link and you share it with people in that case I would say go with one of these themes and then customize it over that but if you want to embed this form on your website or your landing page if you want to use it on your landing page so in that case i would say don't go with any theme because it won't like most of the times it won't match exactly with your branding or colors so just stick with the default theme and start styling it so i have the label here and also i have the placeholder so just keep one what i do personally i don't like to have labels i mean unless i have to right so in that case i will just save it and if you want the input style to be line instead of box you can totally have that so this is what i like right so it's already looking very professional uh and way way better than the previous form form builder so this one this one is a new feature definitely a new feature and now i can go to field style so I, I don't like how it's it has a re really congested padding so I, I will just uh, go to field style and uh, so I will try to find out where field style is yeah that's field style and now I will just uh, give it a bit of padding on the top padding on the bottom and so that already looks really good right uh, if you want just have six that's fine and also previously you couldn't change uh you couldn't change the font of the of the form which was super annoying you know it you had to go to custom css and if you don't know how custom css works it would be so much painful for you now what you can do is you can just come over here find the font i think it's somewhere around here so um yeah so this is placeholders font so this is the 
want you want here so I, I want pop-ins over here so as you can see it's changed and I want it to be 16 or maybe 14 you know it's fine and you can also change the weight of the placeholders so I would just give it 400 right okay cool now also you have the custom CSS if you want to add more styles and animations and stuff you can definitely go ahead and do that now also uh, what you can do is you can style the button so the buttons fonts can be changed from here by clicking on the button if you want to give it pop-ins just go ahead and give it pop-ins and if you want the font to be more like bold font because button fonts are always bold they look like really catchy and uh, so stuff like that and we don't have a subtext but if you do you can change the font from here so also I wanted to show you uh, what extra stuff we, you can do so background image if you want a background image around this form you can totally have that but there's no point doing that if you are using it as an embedded form uh, on your website or landing page header image you can do something like a, you can add a logo or something like that on the header but if you don't want to do that that's totally fine you want the plain font and after embedding that on the page you can do some more changes on the page layout itself uh, to make the form stand out right and now about the options so there's this uh, on submit you can redirect uh, upon form submission you can just display a message it's up to you but redirect actually works uh, for tracking purposes so you can uh, like you can create a thank you page and redirect the form submits uh, to that page totally do that font family can be changed here uh, too for the message if you want to display message Facebook pixel ID there if you are running Facebook ads for conversion API purposes you need to put the pixel ID here and these are the pixel events you can perform and you can also do sticky contact GDPR compliant form stuff like that enable time zone as well so a lot of cool stuff happened uh, in this new form builder but the most exciting thing and the thing that I liked I loved about in this update of the form builder is conditional logic so they added conditional logic to this form builder now uh, you can now do certain actions based on different kinds of form submissions for example let's say I have a field over here uh, let's actually create one so I'd say add custom fields I would go with a uh, radio so let's say what services you want or you need right so if uh, just a use case would be based on the option select they would be redirected to different URLs right so I need roof placement I need um, roof repair I need roof uh, installation right so that's free and let's give it a general info now if I just remove this and if I put it here what roofing services and I need to enable labels now because it has a radio button just like I said so based on use cases you need to enable or disable the labels now what I want is based on this choice I want them to be redirected to different URLs right so what I would do is conditional logic redirect to URL if this option is uh, equals to roof replacement just take them to URL one like a different URL right so that's uh that's gonna be like a yeah example.com slash roof replacement something you know just take them to the roof replacement service page or something and that's save and you want to add more you can do that like uh, if is equal to roof repair just example.com slash roof repair you know so it, it works like that these are the con uh, these are these are the conditional logics you can apply you can also display custom message it's just similar to redirecting to different URLs but just instead of taking them to a different page they'll just show, show a custom message also you can disqualify leads there are more things coming soon as, as you can see so show or hide fields which will come in so like which will come in handy for forms but it's already kind of there for uh, if you want to use this one there's the survey builder that has also gone through a uh, new branding you know uh, through, by go high level so I'll cover that in a different video but 
yeah it would be so much better uh, for conditional logic in forms if they enable show or hide fields uh, which I think is coming soon in the next update or so so this is all about the form builder hope it helped you understand the brand new form builder by go high level more and make sure you subscribe to the channel for getting more updates like this and hope you all have a good day thank you and i'll see you in the next one